uh, probabilistic circuits in there, some in paper representations, inference learning and applications. But basically what they call their probabilistic circuit is a computational graph over certain variables X um, to encode a probability distribution P of X. And an interesting thing to note here is that it's possibly a normalized. Um, so what's interesting is that when I think of um, like graphs or uh, probability distribution, I would also think of um, probabilistic graphical models. And one, one, in one example of that is like a, um, a Bayesian network. But with a Bayesian network, the inference on that is track, uh, is NP hard. And also you might have to do things like uh, finding the normalization of it. But in this case, um, there are tricks here used here in order to make the computation tractable or that you call it okay, um, time. So what's in a probabilistic circuit? So they do have nodes that uh, encode a distribution. In this case, it is a Gaussian um, uh, PDF as signaled by the Gaussian, um, Gaussian curve. But in addition, you might also not want to use a continuous uh, distribution and might need to do some kind of Boolean and random uh, variable. Um, now, when you have these nodes, you can then sample like, uh, uh, with the random variable to uh, use uh, P of X and then be able to um, sample uh, a density or mass. Now, how do we combine this with some, some operators? So one of which is we can use some um, factorizations as a product of nodes. So take, for example, if you have x1, x2, and x3 as independent, uh, independent distributions, we can get the joint uh, distribution of px1, x2, and x3 by, uh, of course, uh, multiplying them together. On the left is the Gaussian uh, multivariate of this. And in addition, um, with uh, as I said previously, in order to make this uh, tractable, there are some, there needs to be certain constraints. In this constraint, they call this um, decomposability, in which you need to make sure that in, the, in these variables, that you don't have the same one. So x1, x2, x3, they're separate, but if you have x1, x1, x2, that's, that's not allowed. So we have a product of nodes, and then of course, we can have some of them which is a mixture. So as you can see here, you can have P of X as um, uh, composed of as a mixture between um, P1 and of course, uh, P2. And another constraint as um, from previous with the factorization is uh, they call this smooth smoothness. In this case, as you can see here, you have X1 and X1, and that, uh, that is the only thing that is uh, possible when you um, um, add them as mixtures. You can't have, you can't have different, um, different variables, such as x1 and x2. So um, because of that, you are now able to build families of circuits. So as you can see there, you can have x1 as a node, and then you can do the uh, mixture, and then you can do the factorization, but then you can uh, compose on them as a like a hierarchy. And what's very interesting to reiterate is, as you can see in this portion, um, x1 and x2 are different, therefore you can do the product, and x1 and x2 are the product, but it's going to be then p of x1, x2, p of 1, x1, x2, and therefore you can be able to um, do a mixture of that. Okay. And so this is like sound familiar because we're almost like adding like structure, you know, and so, uh, it's almost like the previous work on like logic neural networks where instead of encoding, you know, your, uh, log your, your uh, logic in, the, in a network, we're now doing um, with, uh, with distribu uh, distributions. So, so, so now what, why is, why is this, uh, why is this, um, so, so basically, so if we have now these uh, probabilistic circuits, which then can be used on top of neural networks or by itself, why, uh, why is this very important? Well, 
in the paper of the uh, neural ASP plus the probabilistic uh, uh, predicates, we can be able to get uh, uh, model a very range of different uh, queries, such as the joint probability of X and C, uh, the probability of X given C, the probability of C given X, and the probability of C. And in the paper, they particularly use, uh, they use this in slash, in which you can do, you can do plus X and plus C to be uh, your joint probability, plus X minus C to be uh, C given X and vice versa. And then if you do minus X minus C, you can get uh, the probability um, of, of C. So because of uh, when, moreover, uh, the PCs can be very generative because, um, because since you are able to uh, model the probability of uh, C of X, where if it was a, uh, when you're doing classification, um, we can do the you can do the opposite thing in which you can model uh, the probability of the data given C, and therefore we can really generate um, um, we can really generate from possible missing data. Um, so that so that's uh, that's the case over there, and so I'll just go into just a little bit of the loss. Um, basically, the loss is the addition of the um, of the neural probabilistic uh, predicate, um, which is only the negative uh, negative negative log likelihood, as you can see here. And then the second one is the uh, called the entailment, which is the loss of queries uh, when the when the neural probabilistic uh, predicate is fixed. So. The, this is this is the uh, prediction of the predicate, uh, but this is the prediction of the predicate when everything is fixed, and of course this is the the loss given the uh, given by the queries from the program pi. And if you take the derivative of the entailment, we, we have this here, which basically relates to from what Corral was uh, talking about from last uh, from last. Uh, from last uh, Monday, that this was basic, basically from uh, the neural ASP, uh, from neural ASP. And then lastly, if, if you take the neural uh, uh, probabilistic predicate, the log, negative log of that, um, you take the derivative, that becomes one over the inside. However, this derivative is based upon which which uh, neural probabilistic predicate 